Okay, hello. I'm Kirsten Buxton, and this is an invitation for you to join me for the book reading of I Married a Mystic online. I'm really looking forward to going through this book again. It's been a while since I read it. Uh, I lived it between 2005 and 2007, and then the book was published in 2016 in English, and um, it continues to be translated and published in, in other languages. And it just feels very vibrant and relevant and current uh, at this time to offer this opportunity to go through it together. So the idea is that there will be a streamed reading every morning. So stay tuned for the details and they will all be included uh, in the text along with this video. But what I feel to share with you right now as an introduction is to read the back cover and the forward by David Hofmeister, who is the mystic, the uh, tirelessly joyful mystic is how I described him on the back cover. And uh, we'll see where we go from there. So it's a beautiful inspiration <laughs> and invitation from the spirit for us to join together in this way. I'm very grateful. So here's the back cover. I married a mystic, one woman's leap of faith to discover a love that never ends. It was a surprise to gutsy Kirsten Buxton when Jesus appeared to her, announcing he would be her guide. At 27 years of age, a serious bike accident had left her physically, psychologically and emotionally devastated with no control over her life. Having had no previous relationship with Jesus, she began studying A Course in Miracles and developing trust in the spirit within. Miraculously, world-renowned teacher of A Course in Miracles, David Hofmeister, visited her hometown. Jesus told Kirsten to trust this man completely in order to experience a relationship like no other. Her courageous acceptance of this guidance opened her heart and mind in ways she never could have imagined. Throughout this diary of radical self-inquiry, Kirsten candidly exposes her fears, projections and private thoughts whilst on an epic adventure of holy relationship with a tirelessly happy mystic. A must read for those seeking to intimately apply non-dual spiritual teachings in every aspect of daily experience, in the bedroom, the bathroom, and even the supermarket. This profound and often humorous account is literally a how-to guide for awakening. So this is the forward that was written by David. Deep inside, everyone longs for union, connection and love. The calling of the heart is for continuity and an abiding feeling of closeness. The journey to God is the reawakening of the soul and the sojourn from human love to the oneness of heaven. With God, all things are possible, and it is a delight to watch a little willingness given to the spirit transform the mind and result in a forgiven world. Kirsten and I came together to experience a love that never ends. Our relationship and marriage was given over to the spirit as a means of spiritual awakening through forgiveness. This holy relationship was our means of turning inward 
releasing all thoughts of the past and all ambitions for the future to bask content in the present moment. Kirsten recorded the narrative of our lives as a rare glimpse of an accelerated and often intense pathway to a love not of this world. It is the prayer of my heart that this story will bless those who yearn for forgiveness and the remembrance of God's love. May our experiences speed you along the way that is given that you may embrace the glad tidings of forgiveness and experience true love and joy. Our song of gratitude to Jesus and the Holy Spirit is expressed through these pages, touched by the one who created us whole and complete in love. <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> so that's just the back cover and the forward and I will share more information and we'll see how this unfolds in terms of the call for more gatherings and joinings uh, as we go through this book together. So much love and I look forward to joining with you online. <laughs>